Hi, welcome to Don't Pull the Chicken Switch. I'm calling in from the uh, cold, cloudy Toronto area on the banks of the Lake Ontario. Today I'd like to speak about uh, something called subjective fatigue fallacy. And the fallacy is, is that we're completely objective in our assessment of our own fatigue, when in fact we are not completely objective in the assessment of our own fatigue. Uh, think about it, uh, last time you wanted to start something or do something or continue something and your mind and or your body said, I'm too tired. We often trick ourselves, often by the perceived size of the objective, the goal, the, the item that we're going after, that we're too fatigued to start, to do, continue, so we chicken out. And that's the trickery part. For example, uh, last year my wife and I, we remodeled our house and I can't tell you the number of nights I came home from work where the fatigue fallacy was oozing from my, ve my veins. Uh, and I thought, oh, I can't do anything tonight. I'd look at the house and see every room, every area in shambles and it was hard to put my head around starting. So I, I started to just zero in and focus on just one area. I, I became um, myopic in foc focusing on the bathroom or laying uh, a couple tiles or putting up a, starting up, putting up a new wall. And you know what? I was able to get through it and today our house is remodeled. Another one of my other favorite examples of where I became subject to the subject fatigue fallacy was uh, years ago I decided to uh, run a hundred mile race and uh, if you can imagine the training for doing that thing was crazy. On the weekends I would have to do 50, 60, 70, sometimes 80 miles on a on a Saturday or a Sunday and I don't know if you've ever tried to exercise at night or especially starting late at night, but it became difficult. And the only way I could get it done was to leave late. Like uh, I might leave on a Saturday or Sunday at 11 p.m. and run clear through the night to get in 80 miles. And the thought of that often was fatiguing. And I struggled sometimes. And yet when I got out the door and just started, that fatigue, it left me. And to this day, running in Austin, Texas in the middle of the night, in uh, crazy nowhere places, 80 miles in a night is some of the best running memories that I have uh, in, my, in my memory. So my challenge to you this morning here from Toronto is that it's amazing what the mind and body can do for you if you just start. You got to get started. If you follow through on that commitment that you made, whatever it is, and don't follow through on believing that the subjective fatigue fallacy is real. Uh, uh, your mind, your body, they're tricking you. Don't, let, don't be tricked. Just do it. Follow through on that commitment after the emotion of making that commitment has passed. Don't pull the chicken switch and you'll get there. Hope you have a great day and we'll see you next time.